Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey uh, and welcome to Weekly Tips. We're putting some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel, and we are going to be drawing a chinchilla. So let's go and draw this chinchilla. Once I have gathered the reference for the chinchilla, I then start drawing a simple side view. Just to understand the chinchilla where things lie, like its ears and its legs, um, and kind of how chubby they are as well, to understand that about the animal, about the chinchilla. It is a rodent, and it looks a little bit similar to like a rat, but it, it's very, ch a little bit more chubbier, maybe a little bit more towards the hamster side of things. Um, and, you know, it has some interesting features. Now, you see me, you know, make mistakes, um, and that's just, you know, my learning process. I've got to have some sort of try at drawing at first, at trying to understand it, and try to find out where things lie, where things fit. And then slowly add in the right answers, you know. you got to have the wrong answers before you can find the right answers. And, you know, I, I attempt to draw this quite a few times, maybe three or four times, um, before I'm pretty happy with, you know, what I've, I've drawn. Um, and then, you know, from there, I continue to another view. Um, yeah, now here I'm slowly um, doing the outside of the the creature, the chinchilla. I am drawing the, basically the outside of it. Um, but I'm also you can see me, you know, adding in a few details here and there. You might see a bit of the bulge, um, a little bit of the, the toes as well, adding in those. Um, fixing up, you know, fixing up its nose, you know, make, maybe it needs to be a bit bigger or a bit smaller. So I edit those things as I go. Um, here I do the bulge. I add in that little bit of blackness to the eyes. And then I add in, also add in the whiskers as well. Um, just to see what the joint looks like with whiskers. It's not absolutely necessary to do the whiskers, um, but it does help to, to kind of see the overall image um, once you are done with it. Um, and also it could be a good practice for drawing whiskers. Then from here I do a front on view. Now I start off looking at it and thinking, oh he looks a little bit like say a corgi. Um, you know, kind of really chubby, kind of a dog. And, you know, I have a few attempts at drawing this chinchilla, and I don't like the front of view. I'm not happy with what I'm creating um, to begin with. Um, but, you know, sometimes I always stay out like that, you know, I'm not too happy with what's going on, um, how things are, are working out and things like that. Um, and then, you know, it might be that I need to take a little bit of a break. It might be that um, I just need to kind of look at it a little bit closer and understand what's going on a little bit better. Um, and then when, you know, I hit the Eureka moment, it's like, okay, I can get it looking like this a little bit better and understand it a little bit more. So that's what I do here. I slowly, you slowly see me... Um, drawing it and fixing up the ears and um, you know the the proportion of the ears versus uh, the proportions of the head and the rest of the body um, try to fix those all those proportions up and try and get those right and you know I don't know if I've got them completely right um, but you know another thing you can do is always um, just trace it, you know, it, it's, I mean, it seems like I'll way trace it, but, you know, if you trace it, then 
it shows you the answer straight there and there. And I've done that once with a, a 90 minute art challenge where I was completely failing. I, I went all the way through the 90 minute art challenge. But afterwards I did a, um, I just trace it to get the right answer and to see and compare it with my image and see what, um, I, where I went wrong. So sometimes tracing it can help a lot, um, where you went wrong, some understandings of, you know, that's his body size, that's his head size, um, so, you know, there you go, you know, try that, um, but yeah, I'm not too fast, I just keep drawing through it, I draw through my mistakes and just keep drawing it, um, but yeah, I do sometimes if I really am struggling, you know, I really want to understand what I'm drawing. I might trace it just to get a good um, grasp on what's going on, uh, what's wrong with my drawing, how can I improve it, what can I understand better. And then from there, you know, you can take, um, I think the thing with tracing, you know, you've got to take um, something from it, you just can't trace it and that's it you know you've got to take something from it um that tracing so once i have done a front on view i then go on to a more of a three-quarter view now you see i've already done like a quick sketch i don't know why that um <laughs> has skipped maybe i forgot to record that part um but it's a quick drawing that i've done basically and now I go into it again and fix it up a little bit more um, each time I do fix up I notice something different and it's the same with every angle that I do draw you know I notice something a little bit different um, with each time I draw it maybe I notice that his hands a little bit off more or you know he's got that kind of um, his say eyebrows you can see part of his eyebrows on one side versus the other i notice now within this drawing you know his eyebrow mark there should be a bit higher because it's could be should be kind of parallel to where his eye is so that's a little bit off um and sometimes you notice it while you're drawing sometimes you have to you don't notice it to till a little bit later um, maybe when you finish the drawing or something like that, you don't notice it till then. Um, but yeah, you know, once you notice it, it's good to go in and try and fix it. Um, now, you know, I, would all, I don't have all the time in the woods, so I probably won't end up going back and fixing that chinchilla. Um, but however, if I do draw chinchillas again, I definitely will be taking a note on that hole. You know they have kind of eyebrows thing uh, with these these animals and I'll take a note um, of those things and that's what you want to be doing while you're kind of doing these views and um, angles side views front views um, you know here he is kind of I wanted that one there where he's like standing up but um, that one wasn't, you know, it was too blurry. So I found an image that wasn't blurry, that was similar, but it's a little bit different. Um, where he's kind of standing up, but he's kind of looking at you as well. So something interesting. Um, but yeah, you know, that's the view. Um, but you want to take something from each drawing you do. Um, so that you really understand... Um, also here you see me, you know, add the whiskers in, and I'm still, I'm not happy, he, I feel like he could be a little bit chubbier, I'm not sure how to fully make him more chubbier though, um, so I'm just trying to fix things up as I go. And see this end one, I'm not exactly 100% happy with it, I still feel like it needs a little bit work, um, if I was to take it further. Um, the other three I'm, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, maybe that second one there where it's a front-on view could be fix-ups. 
um, to do there as well, but um, it's looking pretty good so far. But, however, with these views, with these drawings, I'm pretty much taking things from each angle to really understand this animal and what goes on, you know. Um, one thing I could have added is those little eyebrows in each drawing where they sit because you can notice them a little bit, um, yeah, and those things that go on. So hopefully this being fun and good for you guys to draw some chinchillas with me. Um, feel free to comment down below what your thoughts are if you like these animals, if you would draw them. Uh, keep drawing everyone. Keep creating and see you in the next video.